Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about this new law in New Jersey that will allow for abortion up till the moment the baby is born. I mean, we all have our pet projects, don't we? Issues that we care more or less about. Abortion has never really been one of those issues that I pay much attention to, but this law made even me do a double take. So let's read through this article and see what it's all about. The state of New Jersey passed a radical law that, under the argument of women's reproductive rights, will allow abortions for any reason and without time limit, even up to the moment the baby is born. Yep, apparently they went there. Democratic Governor Phil Murphy announced that the legislature passed law and that he will be signing it this week. Well, of course he will. Quote, a bill to codify a woman's right to choose into state law and expand access to reproductive health care for all just passed both houses of the legislature. I will sign this bill into law this week with Roe v. Wade under attack. The need for this bill is more urgent than ever." Unquote. Governor Murphy and the Democratic majority in the New Jersey legislature appear to have created the bill with the intention of preserving Roe v. Wade, the 1973 Supreme Court ruling that legalized abortion, as there is now a possibility that the current justices of the court will modify or overturn the ruling based on a Texas pro-life law and a Mississippi law. But pro-life groups noted that this law goes far beyond what is currently allowed. Yeah. You think? Look, I understand you want to protect Roe versus Wade and all that, but this is crazy. This is crazy talk. Allowing someone who's five minutes away from giving birth to say, you know, about that baby, I think not. Let's terminate. That's insanity, right? It's not just me, right? That sounds evil to me, and I don't use that word lightly. First, the Democrats wrote the law so that no other legislation is above it, perpetuating unfettered abortion to apply statewide. Quote, any law, rule, regulation, ordinance, or order in effect on or adapted after the effective date of this act that is determined to have the effect of limiting the constitutional right to freedom of reproductive choice and that does not conform with the provisions and the express or implied purpose of this act shall be deemed invalid and shall have no force or effect." Unquote. The legislation reads, Currently, abortions are allowed up to 24 weeks of gestation, supposedly when the baby can survive outside the womb. However, there have been many cases of those who survive, even with less gestation time. Second, based on the wording of the law, the grounds and time limits for abortion are not established. Even the abortion of a full-term baby will be allowed if it can still be called abortion. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a great idea to me. Right to Life New Jersey noted, quote, because of the broad wording in this bill and the fact that there are no gestational limits anywhere in the bill, this new statute will allow abortions at any point in pregnancy, even if the baby is viable or full term. This will apply to any individual who is present in the state, including non-residents, as well as those who are incarcerated and minor girls in custody or other government programs controlled by the state. Yeah, see, it's that full term thing that gets me. Ah, I just can't get over that. And you know there are crazy people out there. You know someone is actually going to ask for it at some point. It's going to happen. Anyway, third. According to a life site analysis, the bill incorporates a recent modification made by the New Jersey Board of Medical Examiners, whereby authorities will allow all qualified healthcare workers to perform abortions. Advanced practice nurses, physician assistants, certified nurse midwives, and certified midwives will be able to perform abortions. Okay, I've obviously not experienced an abortion and I'm not a doctor, but it seems to me that if you're going to start shoving instruments up there, and, you know, cutting arteries and whatever you have to do to perform an abortion, um, you might want to have a doctor at least attending, you think, maybe? Not too much to ask for, is it? Fourth, the law leaves the door open for regulations to be introduced to require health care plans to cover the cost of abortion, which is unprecedented. 
this is also a very contentious part of it because it's one thing for people to accept that abortion is legal. It's another thing to ask them to actually pay for it. It's probably fair to say that the people who oppose abortion consider it a crime, and to then ask them to pay for what they consider to be a crime is a bit much, isn't it? But most of all, I think it's barbaric to even consider aborting a child that is just about to be delivered. I don't understand that at all. But that's it for this quick take. Thanks for watching and see you next time.